Hey guys, it's SaturdayM1 again here, back again with another unboxing video for you guys. And today we're unboxing yet another NIS America Limited Edition. And this is a limited edition for a game that's a sequel to a dungeon crawler turn based roguelike game. And that is the limited edition for the Awaken Fate Ultimatum for the PS3. This is a sequel to a game called The Guided Fate Paradox, which I have right here. And this is a traditional turn-based kind of roguelike, and it's really, really quirky. It has a really silly premise, and it's just all around really silly. And some of the items that you can get for equipables are just absolutely funny. And I enjoyed this. I actually beat this game and had a lot of fun with it, so I'm actually interested in checking out the follow-up, and that's Awaken Fate Ultimatum. The set was available through NIS America's online web store, as usual, and we're going to be delving into the contents, so what do you say we jump into it? Okay guys, and here we are with the actual unboxing for the Awaken Fate Ultimatum Limited Edition. As mentioned before, this set was sold exclusively through NIS America's online web store. This set was kind of interesting because there were actually multiple options to choose from. There were two options for $54.99, and basically those options were getting the limited edition here and basically your choice of card set. There's two card sets here, and you got the choice of either the Angelic set or the Devilish set. And there's another option which I obviously chose, which is the $5 more, you get the Ultimate Fate Edition as they call this. And it made sense to me because you get the Limited Edition in both card sets, as well as a nice looking double sided coin, but there is a little, I guess, manufacturing problem with the coin and they're kind of waiting on that. So anyone who ordered this set in particular has to wait an additional weeks for this kind of manufacturing issue to clear up with the coin and they'll ship that to you separately down the road. But what do you say we jump into the unboxing? Okay guys, and what do you say we check out the card sets first since they come separately packaged and I already have them out, so let's check those out. Here we have the first one. And this is the Angelic set. And some nice artwork on there. And the back has the logos, so let's pull these out. Okay, and here we have the cards that are included with the Angelic card set. These are nice, actually sizable cards, and they're printed on nice glossy material, and they're basically almost like, like small art prints or something, and they're really actually really nice. So there's one card. That's super cute. And these are really nice. Almost like having small art prints, so... Really, really nice stuff. And the quality is really good. Here we have one with both characters. And those are the cards that are included with the Angelic card set. So what do you say we check out the Devilish set? Okay, and here we have the Devilish set. Pretty much similar to the Angelic set. Except different colors and obviously a different character. And we have the logo on the pack as well. So what do you say we check out the cards in the Devilish set? Okay guys, and here we have a closer look at the cards in the Devilish set. Again, similar size and they're on nice glossy materials, so they look really, really nice. There's one card. There's another card, the artwork is really, really nice. Another card. And again, we have another card with both characters. So these are really nice, actually, and these would make nice little display pieces if you could find a nice frame for these. But these are actually really nice, and I like the size of them, and the material is really good. So those are both of the card sets. Okay guys, so here we have the actual box set in front of us, and for comparison's sake, this is pretty much identical to all the other NIS America PS3 sets they've done. Okay guys, and so here we have a closer look at the box itself. We have the logo. And some of the really nice characters design. On the bottom we have the company logos. This is a game actually made by Nippon Ichi themselves. And on the side we have the logo as well as the top. And on the opposite side we have more gorgeous artwork.
as both of the characters. And as mentioned before, it's a slipbox design, so what do you say we start going through the contents? Okay, so let's start pulling out some of the contents. Just slide these out. And let's pull out one of the important ones right away. And that is the game. Here's the Wake and Fate Ultimatum for the PS3. Okay guys, so here we have a closer look at the game itself. A closer look at the really nice cover art. Shot at the side. And a shot at the back. So there's a PS3 game. Okay guys, and the next item I went ahead and pulled out is something I always love in my limited editions, and that's an art book. The Wake of Fate Ultimatum Book of Fates. So what do you say we take a closer look at this? Okay guys, and here we have a closer look at the art book itself. The Book of Fates. It's hardcover. Has the title on the side. And a logo on the back. So what do you say we take a quick little skim through. Here we have what looks like the main character. Has various facial expressions, full body portraits, and write ups. So it looks like it's a little bit of a kind of character concept art book. As you can see, we have another one of the main characters. And write ups. And here we have the other main character. As mentioned before, we have various write ups and even rough sketches. Here we have some various monsters. And here we have the illustrations for the Japanese packaging, which is pretty cool that they usually put that in there. Really nice character design. Here's some more illustrations. And if we skim to the back, we kind of have what looks like in-game kind of cinematic illustrations. And all the way towards the back, we have various environmental art, as well as write-ups. And all the way towards the back, we have a brief little letter by the producer of the game. So that's pretty much the gist of the art book. So there's a Awake and Fate Ultimatum Book of Fates art book. Okay guys, I went ahead and pulled out the final item in the set, and that is a soundtrack CD. We have the soundtrack CD, The Sound of One Fate Chosen, it's in the jewel case. And what do you say we take a closer look at this and check out how many tracks we have. Okay guys, and so here we have a closer look at the soundtrack. And a closer look at the soundtrack artwork for you guys. On the spine we just have the name. And on the back we have the track listing, which includes 22 tracks. So I'm really interested in giving that a listen. Let's pop this open. And when we pop open the soundtrack, this is how it looks. We have artwork of one of the main characters. We have the CD artwork. And if we remove this, I'm just going to assume that we have the other character. So there's the soundtrack for you guys. Okay guys, and that'll pretty much do it for my unboxing of the Awaken Fate Ultimatum Ultimate Fate Edition. As you can see, we have all the contents in front of us. Everything comes in this wonderful slip box design, which is very similar to all the other NIS America PS3 sets they've done recently. We have the game for the PS3, which is a sequel to the Guided Fate Paradox. And there's a dungeon crawler, kind of quirky, traditional dungeon crawler, turn-based, roguelike kind of RPG. We have the soundtrack CD with about 22 tracks. We have a hardcover art book with various character concept artwork, illustrations, environmental artwork. We have the two card sets, the Angelic and Devilish set. And both of those sets include five cards each on really nice glossy material of various illustrations of the two main characters. But that'll pretty much do it for my unboxing. As always, guys, thank you for watching so much. And until next time, please take it easy, guys. Bye, guys.